What is up, guys? Welcome to another Home Free Friday. Hey, as always, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Behind Curvecast. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, we got some really cool bonus footage up there. You can take part in some polls, help us decide what you react to next. Uh, and for just five bucks, we'll react to whatever you want. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. So I think we've got another Home Free original. I believe, I believe you were right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw that in the comments. Uh, a bunch of people had been suggesting this. Uh, everything will be okay. Uh, kind of sounds like a really good title for uh, kind of what's going on in the world right now. Right. You know, hopefully everything will be okay as long as we're all safe and not stupid and limit our exposure to certain things. Yeah, it's a little bit of positive affirmations, you know what I mean? If we can tell ourselves that everything will be okay, uh, it kind of sets up that mindset to change the behavior and the attitudes of, of, like you said, things that are going on. So Everything will be okay, guys. Um, but yeah, no, I am really excited. Um, I... Yeah, I don't know. I guess from the uh, from the thumbnail, analyze that a little bit here, because uh, who doesn't like making gross assumptions, judging books by their cover? Right. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be a sad song. I hope to God that it's not, but even if it is, Pen or Home Free is still going to pull it off. Wow. I know, I know, I know. Wow. I'm totally Home Free. <laughs> um, it's probably going to be a heartfelt message. Yeah. I, I, I kind of get that vibe. Well, I mean, really, you don't have to tell yourself everything will be okay unless things are going not the best. <sighs> you know, like if everything is coming up roses, you never have to say, oh, this is going to be okay or everything will be okay because right. everything is okay. Right. But yeah, no, I'm excited. Let's get into this. in every car that passes me by and I know it's true there's no way in knowing where this will lead but I can't help but wonder why don't we just try
Aww. Aww. That was so positively fucking uplifting. It really was. Oh. Um, I hate to be that guy, but imagine how many germs are on that bear now after like it was passed around from random person to random person a nurse touched it i mean i love doctors and nurses but uh, especially if she just got off work that's probably got a lot of disease on her scrubs and, and stuff like that gotta be washing those hands yeah well i mean <laughs> yeah other than that yes yeah, so it was incredibly uplifting very 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 fun very nice I, I like the uh, the premise of the video, how something so simple as, like, a stuffed animal just being uh, passed around, I guess, can can just change so many different people's days. And then I like how it all came back around, and the little girl got her bear back. Yeah, but also, how did the mom not see the bear on the sidewalk when the little girl first dropped it? I mean, the mom was looking right at her. I have a niece. She <laughs> drops shit all the time. I've always got to be watching her. Right. Got to be responsible. I hate to be that guy. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, the song was super, super fun. Super nice. Rob sounded so good. This might have been my second favorite song that I've heard him in other than the Boys to Men. Which cover. was, oh. Right. Uh, End of the Road. I think yep. that, that track. Which, yeah, he kind of took the lead in that and just blew everybody's mind. I, uh, there was a, it was almost like when they were moving into the bridge, when Adam started to, like, double time on the beatboxing. Did you catch that? Oh, yeah. That was fucking fantastic, too. Like, oh, I like that, dude. Beatboxing is so cool. Maybe we should just watch, like, beatboxing, like, a competition or something like that. Or we could, like, learn how to beatbox. Nah. And, like... <laughs> I mean, we do have a lot of free time. I mean, you know, quarantine. I hear spit is bad for this, uh, for this disease, though. <laughs> So maybe I'll, I, I imagine beatboxing has a lot of spittle flying, uh, flying from one's face. Especially if you got a big chaw in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like that, Mr. Adam. Uh, <laughs> oh. but yeah, that was awesome. That was so much fun. I did enjoy that. It was, it was more uplifting than like I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Like every, like what well, you had mentioned, it could have, could have kind of been a sad song, but it wasn't. It was very, very uplifting and very positive. Very nice. Yes. Very, very nice. Very wonderful song. It was. That's, exactly that's kind a, of what we need. It, it is. It absolutely is. Yeah. So We'll kind of show you guys a little bit behind the curtain here. This is actually our first reaction, this uh, little recording session. I don't think we could have started it in a better fucking way. She probably it's be good. Yep, hand sanitized. <laughs> we'll get the Purell. Thank you so much for checking it out, guys, and we will see you next time.